There are some cases where two different terms of a geometric progression can be given and then the task is to either find the first term or the common ratio or even any other terms. If that is the case, then we are going to employ the method of linear equations to solve for the particular problem that we are given. Okay. Now let us consider the problem here. I told that the third term of a geometric progression is 360 and the sixth term is 1, 2, 1, 5. Find the first term. So to solve for these, remember that Tn equals a r is power n minus 1. Therefore, T3 will be equal to a r squared and T6 will be equal to 1, 2, 1, 5. So they already gave us the value for T3 and T6. Okay, so we can have 360, right, is equal to, I said the third term of this is, all right, so we have AR squared. And then 1, 2, 1, 5 is equal to AR raised to the power 5. So we can decide to, okay, T6 is equal to AR raised to the power 5 here also. This can be called equation 1 and this equation 2. So we can decide to divide equation 2 by 1 or equation 1 by 2, whichever we want to do it, okay? So let us divide equation 2 by equation 1. To do that, we can reverse this to be 1, 2, 1, 5 over 360 is equal to a r is power 5 over a r is power 2. So if you divide this, one of these will slash this to be, then we'll be left with 3, then a will cancel a. And then if you divide through by 45, by reduction, we have that this will give us 8 and this will give us 27. Okay, so we have r raised power of 3 is equal to 27 over 8. And to make r stand alone, I have to find the third root of both sides. So if I do that, this will cancel out and then r will be equal to 3 over 2. And this is not our focus. Our focus is to find the first term. But we can't find the first term unless we know the common ratio. So since we have the common ratio already, we can substitute this value of r into either equation 1 or equation 2. But for simplicity purpose, I will decide to put it inside equation 1. So if I do that, equation 1 still remains 360 equals a r raised to power 2. So 360 is equal to, I already know the value of r to be 3 over 2. So we have a times 3 over 2 squared. And this will give me a into 9 over 4 because 3 squared is 9 and 2 squared is 4. So we have 360 is equal to 9a over 4. And by cross multiplying, I have 360 times 4 is equal to 9a over 9 over 9. Of course, because my aim is to make sure that a stands alone. So this will cancel out to give 1. And then 360 times 4 over 9. 9 goes here 1. 9 goes here 40 times. So we are left with 40 times 4. Of course, 40 times 4 is equal to 160. So when r is equal to... 3 over 2, and our A is equal to 160. And that is just how to apply our knowledge of the geometric progression. Whenever we have a case where it's led us to equations, okay? So this, of course, is where we are going to end for this class. And I'm sure you already understood the concepts very, very clearly. But if you still have issues, if you still have worries, you can drop your worries on the platform for proper attention.